Hello my fellow Retromaniacs and welcome to watch The Legend of Zelda, episode 1, The Ringer. Yeah, I figured that um, it would be interesting to do something else for a change, and there are just so many uh, TV series and animated series based on video games that uh, it would be nice to watch some of those, you know. It's like Super Mario, Super Mario Show, and then uh, Super Mario 3 and Super Mario World. Then there's Mega Man. I think there's like multiple Mega Man animated series and uh, also multiple Sonic series. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna start with The Legend of Zelda. And um, yeah, I have never seen the series, uh, although I have seen the me memes, like, uh, uh, that, uh, well, excuse me, princess, meme, and, um, yeah, I actually watched this one episode already a couple of weeks ago, when I tried to record the, my commentary for a stream, but uh, it got uh, blocked because of copyright. So, unfortunately, you're not gonna you're not gonna see any video footage. But I'm gonna play the audio and uh, show you some uh, some uh, images from the episode. So, hopefully, you can uh, follow the story. So, yeah, I already watched this episode, but um, maybe I will. Uh, make new uh, obs observations by watching it again. So yeah, let's start. Hey, paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! <laughs> yeah, this is part of the Super Mario Bro Brothers Super Show. Yeah, yeah, this is, um, I think this is like from 1989. So, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I haven't seen the Super Mario Bros. show as well, so I'm gonna watch that later. Yeah, this is obviously based on uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, but I think the Legend of Zelda material only comes from the first game. So Zelda 2, Zelda 2 wasn't really, uh, you know, the thing when this animated show was done. So all the stuff for this series comes from the first game. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the Zel maybe Zelda 2 only came around the time this was produced, so so they couldn't they couldn't add those things. But yeah, here's the team. It's very cool. Still, I still wish that um, there was some kind of a you know maybe Studio Ghibli animation uh, of Zelda. Maybe maybe. Telling the story that happens uh, uh, in the prologue, prologue of uh, Ocarina of Time, you know, what was that? Uh, what was that? The civil wo civil war going going on in Hyrule when uh, Link was born? What happened? What happened to his mother? And what about Zelda's family? There doesn't seem to be Zelda's mother. Anywhere in 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 uh, Ocarina of Time, and what's the backstory of Ganondorf? You know, he was supposed to be like ally of uh, the King of Hyrule. So I want to know what uh, what what he has done to achieve that uh, place in, in royal royal. Uh, Council, you know, 
but yeah this is all we got for Zelda and still the only thing we have for Zelda which is quite unfortunate because you know this show is not that well it's uh, it's uh, it's cool but uh, it has some cringy moments and you know it's made for children so this is the triforce of wisdom link triforce of wisdom Wizard ganon has the triforce of power it's, yeah it's interesting also that the ganon here is like stuck in into his canon form although it wasn't uh, really uh, like established before link to the past that there was like canon dwarf and maybe only only in ocarina of time there was like this human character of canon dwarf who can turn into ganon but in the first game it there was only ganon And for some reason, he almost looks like a like a crocodile. Although I think he should be like a wild hog, wild boar. Okay, I, I don't know what that is. That like a I don't know what that is. Whoever gets both triforces will rule this land forever. Both triforces? You mean all the three? What happened to the One Piece? You must help me, Link. Hey, for you, Zelda, anything. <sighs> yeah, Link is so horny in this series. Like, so every every two minutes, uh, he's like uh, trying to steal a kiss from Zelda. But you know, they are like uh, in their late teens, so <laughs> you would expect that kind of behavior from Link. He just wants to. Bank Zelda. Well, excuse me, princess. Okay, that's that's like Hyrule Castle. Pretty uh, futuristic. Also, almost like a, something from the Jet Jetsons. But I I really like that the, you know. This is like old school hand drawn animation, you know. It has its certain charm. It's also like those backgrounds are like made, you know, they're paintings. I don't know if these uh, backgrounds and anima animation cells still are still uh, sold in like in auctions like like eBay. Maybe you can get the original production production cell somewhere they might be they they should be quite pricey nowadays but yeah i really like that it's all hand drawn no computers whatsoever oh yeah and there's that the navi character it's called like a tingle or something it's like it's like from peter pan So is Zelda supposed to have a piece of Triforce as well? Here. And Link? I don't think that uh, it's only in Ocarina of Time that it is revealed that both of them have a like piece. Like uh, in them. Oh. Hey, excuse <laughs> me, princess. <laughs> excuse me, princess. Okay, here we see Hyrule. It's very, you know, it tries to be like at this um, medieval Europe. But I don't know why there's like uh, those exotic birds here. Well, it's a fantasy world. The Ringer, written by Bob Forward. I don't think uh, any of the people who made the show are actually like like a gaming fans but they tried their best and you know it's only loosely based on the game NES game and NES, the first Zelda was just uh, it wasn't 
uh, so grand. So there, so there wasn't too much material to work uh, in the first place, to work with in the first place. So they had to like invent most of the stuff from their head. And I don't think any of this, any of this is part of the part of canon nowadays. Although uh, the CDI games actually used some of the some of the characters like King Hawkin, my boy. So it's partly canon, but then again, it's uh, it's it, it's in it, it's its own world, you know, timeline, own timeline. It's not part of the occurring of time or linked to the past timeline. So here we see it, there's like a some houses outside of the Harrow Castle. It's not Kakariko Village because it wasn't invented. Yeah, there's a link. I think he's like uh, 18, something like that, 17. Almost looks like a some kind of Indian, Peruvian et ethnicity. Another beautiful day in the magical kingdom of Hyrule, boring place. I used to roam in the world, fighting monsters and sleeping in mud. A hero's life. Now look at me, living in a castle. It's interesting that they start the show like in the middle of a middle of a story like this, a whole backstory of Link, which we are not shown for some reason. So he's talking about like uh, fighting monsters, becoming a hero, but why don't they start from the, from the beginning? I want to know what happened earlier. Has Ganon been there for like, uh, for decades? Or has he just appeared there? So it's like ongoing conflict between Ganon and uh, Zelda. Well, maybe maybe in the series we will know some of the backstory and earlier years leading to this moment. Also, it's interesting that the piece of the piece of Triforce is like uh, in that pedestal, just. Uh, just uh, levitating. Sleeping in a bed. Aren't I sweet? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to know one good reason why I even stay here. Oh. Okay, so there's one good reason. <laughs> Link can Link can almost feel that Link has like a binoculars. He's watching Zelda peeping when she's uh, dressing, dressing up. <laughs> He's so horny. Looking good, princess, especially from this angle. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't make this stuff nowadays. But you know, this was eighties. Being perv was a normal thing to do, normal thing to be. I told you, you should have put on a robe. Okay, so everyone has uh, their own. Uh, like a fairy, which is interesting because I don't think that uh, the first Zelda it, it had fairies, but but not like Navi, who follows you all the time. So this kind of predicted Navi ten years earlier. Yeah, I don't think we are going to see any other family of uh, Zelda, apart from his father, father, so his mother is dead by, by now, I guess. And uh, Link is orphan. Oops. Yes, I offended her royal prissiness. Uh, huh? Oh yeah, moblins. Yeah, moblins. Yeah, all the enemies uh, comes from the 
from the NES game. So yeah, we've got moblins and tektides and uh, those uh, skeleton dudes, iron nuts, and those boss characters as well. So at least there are plenty of enemies. But uh, if this had been done after Zelda 2 or Link to the Past, I think that it would have had so much more material to use. Here it's just, uh, it's just limited and uh, the music, sometimes you hear the Zelda theme song but and the dungeon theme song, but uh, yeah, most of the time the music is just uh, non-Zelda, just an incidental score, which has nothing to do with the compositions of Koji Kondo. So where did you come from? Where is why is there like a secret tunnel on the Link Link's bedroom? Well, excuse me. Yeah, most of the action in this show is just peachy, peachy. Seven or something like that. So no, no viol no real violence, no blood. And then enemies just explode. You destroyed Zelda's picture. Now I will uh, revenge that. Hey, it's been fun, but the other customers are getting impatient. Yeah. So it's full of like one-liners by Link. He's always trying to be a wise crack jo jokester. So it's not. It's more like slapstick than uh, drama. Okay, now you got full health. I like those sound effects, they're straight from the first game. I wonder if Nintendo actually gave them the original sound effects. Or, or did they actually have to record it from that game by using a microphone? And tell Ganon that if he really wants this Triforce, he'll have to get it himself! Okay, that's better. That's how I like to start a morning. What did you get a bow? Huh, and a magic bow is a souvenir. Magic bow. Aha. Yeah, it's interesting that this uh there's like explanation how he Link carries all the stuff. He's got a magic vest where he can where he can put all his items. So they actually thought about this, you know, how to how to have an explanation for everything that happens in the game. And when you don't have an explanation, just make it magic. It's all magic. Huh? It's me, Zelda. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. After saving the Triforce from evil, the hero gets his reward. <laughs> Ow! Don't you ever whistle at me again! I may never whistle again, period! Don't you ever clean in here? Excuse me, princess! Excuse me, princess! If I'd known you were coming... I gotta master that, I wanna imitate that. Well, excuse me, princess. Excuse me, princess. Well, excuse me, princess. Princess? I'd have asked the moblins to sweep up before I zapped them. There were moblins in here? When? About ten. Yeah, you should, you should put the Triforce in a, like a, like a vault inside of a, inside of a, like a, chest or something, big lock on it, so 
that there it is it, it if it's in plain sight someone else is gonna take it for sure maybe a, maybe a guard or or a bird who flies through the window seconds ago about uh, 15 of them 15 the a little bit of exaggeration risking my life to save the triforce and your kingdom but I don't expect any reward no sir just a smack in the face is enough for me oh link I'm sorry but you made me mad no kidding anyway this is the third attack by Ganon this month we'll have third attack by Ganon this month and how long has this been that has, has that been going for years I don't know it doesn't explain we have to be on our guard we princess well, by we of course I mean you stay here today and guard the triforce ah oh, princess it's too nice a day don't yeah that's a good argument uh, you know you cannot just stay in one place for how long for the for the eternity they cannot go any anywhere and please close the windows some of, some enemy will come in yeah they should really have a better place for that triforce peace Don't argue the triforce must be guarded and i'm already late to judge the magician's contest but i knew i could count on you link <laughs> friend zoned Okay, here we see Ganon. Blast, blast, blast. Okay, he, he can teleport just like in the game. But what is that giant, whatever that is, orb? Supposed to be like a like a video feed. He can see what happens outside of his underground layer. And shouldn't he live in Death Mountain? I don't know. This show takes so much liberties. So uh, you cannot really tell when it's using the source material. <laughs> that voice is so annoying. Must hurt the voice actor's throat. Yeah, sorry. Okay. What's happening? It just kills his minions whenever he wants. Obviously. If I want to try for some wisdom, I'm going to have to get it myself. Well, that's very cool that That um, thing where he sits. Very cool place. There is a contest of amateur magicians in Hyrule today. I shall enter that contest. But you're no amateur. The Triforce. Piece is talking, what the hell? You're a pro. They won't know that. Well, it's good to have good that Ganon has something someone to talk to. It would go insane otherwise. Since my teleportation powers are limited in the upper world, I'll have to travel in style. Yeah, they again they explain why Ganon cannot use all his powers. So yeah, if he could teleport anywhere, he could just teleport to Link's room and take the Triforce piece. But what is this thingamabob? Okay, yeah, it's some kind of a you know device uh, that you can. Create more enemies from it. More uh, creatures. Let's go. 
That's pretty cool. Reminds me of Emperor Palpatine. So wait a second, there's like a entrance to the cannon's lair just outside of the castle. Why they haven't blocked it? It's like a 200 meters. <laughs> it can be seen from the castle and still they allow it to be o to be open. A peaceful kingdom and a beautiful day. Well, that was so change. Move. I like that transition. Oh, that was so change. Move. Triforce transition. Okay, here we see the Hyrule Town, I assume. So we've got... Um, yeah. Hyrulean people. This is a spell I use in my garden. But we haven't seen the king yet. But I'm sure that uh, he will appear. King Hawking. Watch. Okay, we got wizards, so definitely magic is a. It's getting bigger. Magic is a thing in this world. Commonplace. Hmm? Who dares to laugh at me? My name is not important. I merely wish to enter this contest. Yeah, I wouldn't trust a person who talks like that and looks so sinister and has guards that look so evil. Are you an amateur magician then? I am. Fine. Wait your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if anyone guards the Triforce. Yeah, he stole my idea. Just go, go fly through the through the window and get it. Wisdom. He could have just uh, created could have created a bigger bird who can lift the Triforce piece. My best smell, your highness. It uh, removes the stinkiness from my dirty socks. <laughs> mm. What a lame resort. To pay more attention to me. Who cares? She's a snot. You should stick with me. Uh, it's just like in Peter Pan, Tinkle Bell. He has a cross towards Link. Right, you're only three inches high. Yeah, we cannot have a coitus. You don't like short girls? Oh, how cute! Is guarded by Link. Really? Where's Impa? Well, let's get him out of there, shall we? Oh, this these uh, orchestral renditions of the of the themes from the first game they sound good very nice okay I think that's like the first boss of the first dungeon. Right. Okay. Now that was pretty risky. You could have died. Don't you have a shield? Your shield? Oh, there. Okay. Just appeared from his magic pocket. Clear 
Zap. That's cool. Ha! Okay, where's Ganon? He's just watching this. Nothing much. Just heroically saving your life. Why? How about Kiss? Supposed to be guarding the Triforce. Well, excuse me. Well, excuse me, princess. Princess, I. Oh, there's Ganon. How did he get there? Well, maybe he climbed up the stairs. No, he came from the window. Mine. Insect. Yeah. Mine. All mine. Evil is the path you choose, but evil doers always lose. Shut up. <laughs> it's funny how those trifold pieces talk. So wait a second. It's not enough that you touch the trifold piece, you have to like do something about them, so you can actually use the powers. I don't know. You have to... You have to eat them, until... Before that, nothing happens. <laughs> His ass is gonna be sore tomorrow. Yeah, those wizards are useless. They have like a dozen of them in the contest, and they are doing nothing. Now. Yes, we will. Quick, your growing spell. Are you the old man from the from the cave in the first game? It's it's dangerous to go alone. Take this sword. Your growing spell. Maybe, maybe he's the old man from the first. On the huh? first game. Huh? Come on, Link. Hey, don't you have any better, better magic like uh, teleportation or uh, like uh, uh, fast running or just carriers, maybe? Completely crazy. I like it. Whoa. Nice aim. How are we going to get down? Now you talk. Now you thinking. Uh, uh. 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 Ta da! Saved your life again. Kiss me. <laughs> <Look out. laughs> it's Even in the middle of like danger and and. Uh, and a battle is willing to have a kiss. Always thinking with his dick. Faster, faster. A secret entrance to the underworld is Yeah, it's not it's not very secret. And wasn't it uh, closer than that? There wasn't any forest when we last saw him coming out of the entrance. Slow him down a little. Ganon is quite goofus in this. I call for reinforcements. A measly in this animation. Ha, take this, princess. What? Uh, Link. Huh? Back to back, princess. Fast. Get them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, that magic bow doesn't have any arrows, it just shoots lasers, laser beams like... Okay... What 
this that <laughs> Cannon tries to be Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bombs. Thanks, Ganon. Get them! Get them! Blast you! Link, a bomb, and I'm out of stealth bolts. Got you, stealth bolt. But I have the Triforce. You have. What happened to the bomb? It didn't explode. Uh oh. Baseball. Well, that was stronger than the earlier bomb. Ta da! The Triforce. Saved the kingdom again, Princess. Kiss. Not bad, eh? You got lucky. Now get this belt off. No. What do you want? A kiss. Come on. <laughs> no. Then we stay like this. Oh, all right. I suppose you do deserve some reward. Just don't try to make a habit of this. Oh, I won't. I promise. Ah, <laughs> hey. uh, Sprite. It's like uh, Han Solo and Princess Leia. Then three, three PO comes in. Uh, Ruins the scene. Sprite. Oh, I see the belt stuff. Hmm, I'll fix that. Oh, darn it, Sprite! I was that close. That that close to get laid. <laughs> oh, now you are in the thing. It's like. A if you die in the upper world, you end up in that uh, dome. For, for some reason. <laughs> Do the Mario swing your arms from side to side. Now yeah, I have to watch the Super Mario show as well. But yeah. I really like the animation style and uh, you know the voices they are quite good again Definitely go and do what's other episodes as well. I want to see how much uh, how much they can use from the from the game for plots. You know, maybe maybe there are some filler episodes where there's no like threat or threat threat of Ganon taking the Triforce piece because if they just uh, repeat the same same plot. Again and again, it becomes quite dull. So maybe there are some other storylines as well. But we'll see. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.